G'day. When you're dealing with a manual machine you get a certain amount of feedback through the handles to get an idea of what's going on with the machine. You don't get that with a CNC machine. But you do get certain signals, messages, whatever you want to call them. And you have to learn how to interpret them. Hang around and we'll see how I dealt with it with a small boring bar that was trying to let me know it had a problem. The tool gets quieter at larger diameters. I wasn't seeing this terrible finish because uh, the hole is tapped so I only had the points of the thread basically to see the finish and it didn't give me enough guide to see what was going on however this did those wear marks in that red ring shouldn't be there this boring bar holder was drilled in situ so I have absolutely no idea why it's not on centre it certainly should be fortunately the software has a tool height offset in the software so I was able to adjust it to put it back on center. I hope you can hear the difference. I hope that finish speaks for itself. That was a 0.1 per rev feed so not very fine. This is what the insert should look like. A little bit of wear on the tip and absolutely nothing down below at the bottom. I've done some drawings to try and show the effect of a boring bar being below centre. There's an enlargement coming up which should make it a bit more obvious. I hope that makes it a little clearer. Here you can see the difference in the uh, that the diameter makes. Those inserts are both actually on the same centre height even if it doesn't look it. Here I've overlaid a graphic on an actual photo of the end of the in boring bar so you can see how much the insert is angled to help create clearance. This gives you an idea of how much interference there would be if those inserts were not angled in the boring bar. This was a CCGT insert and in the drawing I deliberately put that 7 degrees under the second C because in these codes the second letter actually specifies the front relief angle. Uh, it can be various but this one was 7 degrees so it's a C. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching.